Hi guys, how are you doing? Gotaru here. Today, I just received a package from Italy, from Guidi. So last October, I visited their showroom in Tokyo for their Spring Summer 2020 collection. If you haven't checked the video of the showroom, you can also check. That time, I made my personal order. Then finally, I just received it. After six months, no, even more, maybe seven months, eight months. Yes, finally. So today, I'm gonna unbox the package and talk about brand because I did a small interview with Mr. Greedy who run their company and design old Greedy line and Greedy and Rosalini today. So I want to share what I got and also I want to talk about what Greedy is, what artisan shoes are and why I like it or something like, you know, the world of artisan label. Okay, so let's start it. So first, let me start talking about Guidi. So the Guidi is a popular and famous other artisan shoes today, but they actually started as a tanner in 1896 by Guido Guidi, Giovanni Rosellini, Gino Willi. These three were the founder. The Guidi leather is one of the, I think, the best leather supplier. So some brands such as like Marta Margiela, Prada, Rick Owens, and you know, Carpe Diem, like luxury brand to artisan brand they use greedy leather for their product then they just start producing avant-garde design shoes as a greedy in 2004 but before that they had a greedy and Rosellini line which is more like traditional design of shoes then they stopped making Rosellini shoes however greedy and Rosellini it's restarted in 2014 spring summer with the same method of making shoes with traditional and professional techniques which I really like more than Greedy line personally so I ordered Greedy and Rosalini shoes this time so let me introduce it Done. so here's one two three four so I got a four item total, but actually these three are not mine. My friend ordered it and they ship everything in one box to my address. So first, let me open my order. Yes. So what I got is Greedy and Rosalini. Yay. Oh, smells like leather. So good. So, I got a... What, what is that called? It's like Mokto shoes. The one I tried on a video of Shaolun. It comes with a extra shoelace. Also, there is a Vibram sole. So all the Rosaline shoes has this kind of tank so i really like greedy but personally i like greedy and rosaline more because mm, it's kind of hard to explain but i would say it's less fashion for me the design and the philosophy more like two not for fashion item so i'm not sure if they really look fashionable or cool but for me it's very cool as a shoes it doesn't relate it with any like trend or style you know so that's why i like it so this is my third rosalini shoes actually let me show you other two okay so this one is my very first greedy and rosalini shoes i got it from idol in 2014 when the greedy and rosalini they just restarted their brand since then i just keep wearing it so as you can see the leather get aged it looks like burned can you tell the difference this is a brand new this is six years old also here it is 
Oh, it's so heavy. This is a uh, boots. I haven't really worn this because I wear this for rainy day and snowy day. Usually I wear this. That's why they haven't got aged if we compare to this one. But it looks nice too. See? Can you build these are same shoes? Okay, so let me try this. The size is 42. Now I think the fit is true to fit. I think these look nicely balanced with these cloth pants. Also, I like how it looks with black socks. But maybe in summer, I may go with short socks instead. So this is a brand new. I just got and this is six years old and I haven't really done any special treatment for this because I like how it looks in natural aging but I'm just curious what is the best way to take care of these shoes to wearing them for a long time so I asked Mr. Greedy what is the best way and he say we should add oil to moist the leather and keep not too dry also, he sent me a photo of his very first Rosalini shoes. Very old one. It looks really beautiful. So I'm gonna add oil for this and this in the future to keep them long. I'm for sure I will wear them for next 10 years, 20 years. I like using favorite stuff for a long time. So also here. There is other item I received, which is not mine, but my friend allowed me to open this and introduce on YouTube. So let me open. Oh, yeah, these are not Rosellini, these are greedy. So first of all, here, can you tell what it is? This looks like belt, but it's actually dog leash. See, here you can use this. <laughs> so fancy. Yeah, my friend had a dog, so that's nice. And the next one is... Ta-da! Oh, whoa, it's open. Ah. Really nice. This is a greedy bag and this is a fabric. I think it's linen and the handle is leather. There's a double zip. So like this, I think. Oh yeah, nice. Okay. This is nice size. This is a uh, linen, so it's very light. And the color is orange. Nice color too. The zipper, there's a greedy name on it. Also inside there's a uh, one pocket. I don't usually use back, but this is really nice one. I only have this bag from Boris Bijan Sabre. It's really big and don't really use it. Okay, then last one is shoes, obviously. Ta -da! Oh yeah, tote bag. Boots. So here is the shoes. It's a horse for grain boots. There is a rubber band and it doesn't have to be tied. You can wear as is. But here is a shoelace so we can lace it up. The color is nice. It's not like jet black. It's a little bit like blankish or like grayish black. So I think this is a 5305N. So if you are interested in that the model name. I asked Mr. Greedy about what's the difference between Greedy and Greedy and Rosarini. So here is the answer I wanted to share with you. So he said, Greedy and Greedy and Rosalini have always been two faces of the same coin, even though they are quite different from each other. Rosalini is very traditional and classic and less classic and closer to avant-garde design, which is the Greedy collection. The one of the biggest difference is the Valentine, which is kind of Greedy's trademark today. And lastly, I asked him if you have uh, something to tell to my YouTube audience and he said I would like to thank everyone because today there is someone who can grasp 
the craftsmanship of an object and this is something less and less common today well yes probably greedy and other clothing label like i said artisan labels they are unnecessary for someone who are not interested in fashion however i really like handcrafted piece with artisan's soul because i'm wearing it actually i want to dress something i really into it and i can respect though even though there is a tons of other clothes made in this first based environment i still pick these artisan level and i wish some people have same thoughts as me and enjoying this very niche genre of fashion okay today i talked about greedy greedy today is one of the well-known artisan shoes brand so if you are interested in you can check some boutique and hope you find your favorite shoes okay thank you for watching see you next time bye, -bye.